so hello everyone today we will discuss means we will understand how to start contributing to openstack but before that i want to know that how many of you know about openstack a little bit or means have heard of openstack who haven't heard of openstack okay so a little introduction is required then so first of all what is openstack openstack is a collection of softwares which collectively integrate together and provide infrastructure as a service when we talk about infrastructure we talk about basically about uh, vms networks storages so openstack services provide a set of apis apis are that you can hit them and you can get a response like you can hit a request like uh, create a vm create a network something like that so there are many softwares available in openstack out of the many are the core core projects some are means that are still ev evolving so you can find a list i will share the link where you can find all the list of the projects and openstack also provides a development environment means you uh, it provides a dev stack you can use dev stack for developing purposes so developers mainly use dev stack and then there are distributors like red hat the cisco not cisco uh, canonical they provide their distributions and the distributions contain mainly packages so you the operators or administrator install the openstack or they consult the providers to install the openstack and manage for them but today the main focus will be for the developers so how they can contribute to openstack so first of all the since openstack is a collection of softwares so softwares code source code must be there so they that is stored in the github github is git is used for source code management so all the openstack projects exist in github this is the link here you can find all the projects like nova nova is the openstack project which provides compute services like vms swift provides object as a service neutron provides networking as a service glance provides image as a service cinder provides block storage as a service and keystone provides authentication there are many other projects but that are not required for today's session so you can find all the repositories here if you already know how to work with github you can easily start using that that uh, repositories then then if the project is there there must be some bug tracking system so we are using launchpad for that so here all the projects uh, bugs are tracked for example if you want to search for nova you can just search for nova so you got all the nova bugs now we are using garret review that is the review tool there there all the reviewers and committers contribute together to make the patch means means for example you want to fix a bug so you have to submit your code to the review.openstack.org so since i told there are many projects so you can see that the project list here so there is a patch for openstack ansible the networking odl triple o common so all the patches you can see on the review.openstack.org now if you have any queries where to ask so there is we use irc and a free node server is there so you can connect to any channel there are lots of channel available you can see the link the channel name in this link maybe this is not working 
so means every project has a channel for example we we have clients like hexset or you can use client web client is also there you can directly open that so this is the free node server where we have lots of channels available channels for example audio channel triple o channel nova channel so the list you can find easily or you can directly search google what is the irc for openstack nova so you can get that is hasnova so currently the irc name starts with from openstack hyphen protected in most of the cases and for example if you want to see the logs for example you are disconnected and you want to see the logs for the so you can go to this link for example if you want to see the nova what is going on nova means what people discuss there and day wise you will get the logs for example yesterday's so here is all the logs what people discuss not this uh, every project has a weekly meeting some do twice twice a week some do twice uh, bi weekly so you can also connect with the meeting everyone can join that meeting means that is the best place because there is a agenda that open discussion is there so anyone can go and let around 5 to 10 minutes everyone can get and there you can raise your queries like i want to start contribution and i can someone provide me the easy bucks so they may help you also there is a mailing list so mailing list are that sometimes there are long discussion and you need because at irc no everyone is not available at that time so you can use the mailing list for example if you have some proposal or you want a query that is not uh, being answered on the irc so mailing list can be used but most of the time it's not required because someone is always available on the irc but sometimes a wider discussion is required so anyone can initiate the mailing list and it's being answered by the other members so now we can start everyone has that ppt how can i share this ppt so what we can do so like everybody please join the irc channel yeah so there is a site on uh, free not dot free dot chat dot free not dot net just open that url Uh, in the open stack hyphen open stack channel you can just type please what is the sign there pound sign open stack mm -hmm. the main channel site yeah. web, web chat web chat is op just open there like a big chat dot free not dot net So you can use a nickname here and the channel name. Channel name is Hello Open Stack. You are connected to Internet. Yeah. So navigate separately. Once you are locked in there, you will pass it the PPT, so that it can happen.
so everyone has joined everyone joined So if uh, if your name is taken by somebody else, you can use a different name. Yeah, you can get this type of phrase. Like you can see that from the top, I think Karen Swell, to Yaditya, Siddharth, Jay Malate, Anand Prakash, Jay Malade underscore aspect. It says too many. Too many connections to error arrival. Try one by one. Everybody hitting the same server simultaneously might also cost it. <laughs> <laughs> or just put the link on link yeah. mm -hmm. If there is a problem, download the hex chat client later on, or currently you can share with your friends. And we will be putting the meetup link. Mm. Just click on Evo. Evo, just go top of the page. Okay. Yeah, put the link. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that will be easy one. So, I see the presentation. Yeah. Share also. Yeah. Anyone? Just change it. We have credits locked in on now, so it won't be publicly accessible. Okay. Is it opening? Mm -hmm. huh? Okay. Mm -hmm. I can download and share on Meetup, I think. Yeah, we can share later on. You can see the link here. No we can share it later on. Okay. Let's move. Those who are connected to IRC, just take a look. Okay. Or you can get a public shareable link also. Mm -hmm. Fine. Yeah. Please share. Yeah. Link to say only accessible to collaborators. Specific people can access to anyway. We can say change it myself. I will do that for you. Okay. I can share the content on meetup.com maybe. IRC. You can start with the presentation I'm saying, fixing that link. So those are on the IRC will get this link. So you can open that and you will see this page. Mm -hmm. And you, those who are not the user still can create the account here. 
by typing your name, full name, username you want, password, and retype password. That's it. Give access to those slides. Yeah, exactly. We are investing access to those slides. So few people must have got access. So everyone created an account? Yes. You must be getting confirmation link on the mm -hmm. Gmail or by whichever account you are creating an account. So everyone created account? Yes. Or if someone has issue, one member can come here also. No, I have uploaded the slides on file. Mm -hmm. Meetup.com. No, chandankumar.fedrop.org. Okay. So you can share the link. Yeah, that is directly downloadable. If you create an account now, you can verify it and then join as a foundation member to OpenStack Foundation. That's the link, second one. I added the presentation of Meetup page. You can directly click the link. You will get the slides on it. You can check how many means creating the counts. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, first we give the presentation, then we can create the account. And they will require it. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry? He will tell you what. He will tell you all the next steps. So, like, just follow him. I've just created an account. Yeah. You must have got the verification link on yeah, confirmed. Okay. Now, second step is the second link. You have to join as a foundation member. This foundation member is required if you want to contribute to submit a patch to OpenStack. So you have to do this.
plus C2 over 2. So anyone can say it's used? C2 over 2. That will be nice. They must be a season link. Season link, I think. Thank you. Should be at TTPS. Okay, at TTPS. Yeah, I think I have updated the link on the interface from here. Those who are facing too many connections, they can just download the headshot client and connect it from there. So follow this link and join as a foundation member. My RC, thanks for the link. Is anybody facing problem with the U121 apart from the window user? Fedora on Fedora you are facing? Yes. Sorry? Sorry. 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 No, no, this one. No, no, this one. No, no, this one. No, no, this So how many of you created the accounts? You can try on his laptop, so you can see it. You have created one? Mm -hmm. Statement of interest. Mm -hmm. no? Statement of interest. So like, uh, you said me like contributing to the stuff. So that we can try after the session also. Yeah. If someone is facing error, we can try it after the session. You can share laptops. Yeah. So those who are, means created the foundation account mm -hmm. joint. So you should join as foundation member first. You need a foundation member account. Those who have created the foundation can log in to review.openstack.org and log in there with the same account you have created with OpenID. Can you just put it once again on the IRC? Because we have created the foundation. 
So we have shared the slides. Yeah. Which link you want? Foundation member. You can try with different browser. Really I think what them. we can do okay. first, we can go through the slides and everything. Okay. And after that, after the session, we can tell people to try it out. So how many has joined the foundation member account? Yeah. That's Means four to five. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So now you can log in to review.openstack.org. So lo you can log in here. When you will try to sign in, you will get something like this. Means my details are already there, so I am getting this page. You will get something else. Just enter the same account you used and log in it. Once you get there, you have to go to settings page. Those who are logging first time may be getting an error. error. Yes. So, you have, so you have, have you verified that you are so you must set a username there. Mm -hmm. You have to set a username. Yeah. yeah. Unique yeah. username you need to set. So first field you need to fill this, you will find it empty for the first time to set it. Okay. Yes. Everyone is done. So now you can go to the agreement space, agreement tab. Yeah, within settings, you can find agreement. When you will go to the agreement link, there you get an option new contributor agreement. Yes. So you have to do ICLA, Interpreter Contribution License Agreement, Individual Contribution License Agreement. So you have to sign it. You have to fill every detail there. I see first one. Go down and fill all the details. When you fill the address, you have to type I agree at the last box. 
कैपिटल एंड सबमिट द एग्रीमेंट so you can go to the terminal in your linux system and check if there is a file can see if this file exist or not so you can find a dot ssh folder generally in your home directory in your home directory if that's not there you have to type this command mm. you have to type that command that command and press enter 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 two three times it will generate that for you ssh key then is the command ssh hyphen key then then you can use that cat command and copy the key ssh hyphen key then once you get the key you can go to ssh public keys tab once you have the public key you can upload it here on review.openstack.org on the ssh public keys tab there is an option add key you can paste it here and click on add that have you filled it yeah yeah yes copy that i will add ओके <laughs> he's doing yeah you can share with others you can see others laptop also yeah so like you can sit here if you want yeah this use we can solve later so everyone uploaded the public key yeah okay so now we have log log into the review.openstack.org set it the username signed the icla and edit the public keys four steps we have done now Thank you. 
So now contribution to OpenStack. So only the only by submitting patches you cannot contribute. There are other ways also. So you can file the bugs. For example, if you are using OpenStack and you see some bugs, you can file them. That is also counted as a contribution because you are uh, helping the community by your contribution by filing bugs. You can, if you know the fix of some bugs, you can try that. You can add your comments on the bugs that I I have fixed this by using this set of workaround or the code changes. Also, you can resolve queries on IRCs or mailing list. If somebody is facing issues or wants some suggestions, you can answer them. Also, you can submit the patches like code changes or document changes. The changes can be functional or non-functional. You can also the review patches means one member has submitted the code. You can review that and you can contribute. Also, you, you can draft some features. For example, if you see there is there is uh, something can a new feature can be there in some project. You can draft a blueprint. If you want to implement that, you can also implement or many people contribute together to implement a feature. So same feature can be implemented by many people. Now, if you haven't tried the dev stack yet, you should try it. You can find the link here. In the PPT, you can find a link how to try the dev stack because today you will not need it. But if you want to contribute to open stack like functional in functional wise, so you have to use dev stack. So you can get that link here. So it, uh, the Etherpad contains the steps to set up DevStack in your local machine. So you must have a Linux VM or a system. Means you should try with the VM only. And uh, the requirement should be means you should have around 4 GB. Or if not, you can try with the swap space also. 2 GB RAM and 2 to 4 GB swap. It, it will work for you. Right. Try to add additional services. Yes. Try to work with the minimal. Always try, try start with the minimal services because every service if you add a service it will consume the resources for your system. Now those who already have created the accounts should set up the development environment by installing these packages. So everyone has the Linux system with CentOS. Or anyone has with Ubuntu. Ubuntu. So currently we need Git. Yes, currently you need only Git. Yeah. Same. So if Ubuntu is there, so apt get install Git. Yeah. You can you have to use sudo. First make sure you have Git installed. So like try mm -hmm. Git command directly. Type type Git or Daml and Git enter. If it's open, then it is installed. So if you require later to install these packages, simply replace the devil with dev. So that will work in Ubuntu as well. So these are the package names. They differ in Ubuntu and CentOS. So you have to run these these commands that will set up local configuration for your account, I mean system. Git config hyphen hyphen global user dot name, then enter your full name, separated by space, last name. And same is with email, the same email you used right now to create the accounts. And the git review.username will be the username that you sort set on the review.openstack.org. Just try this command. First, you need to install git. Sudo yum install git or sudo apt install git. Yes. 
If you you have already configured your Git for other development, you can check out Git config hyphen hyphen list. No, no. No, okay. no. So you need the, you need to use the username which you have specified on review dot open start dot org. Okay. And full name, last name is your full name and last name. The same email ID have you have to use. And after you have created, you can run git config hyphen hyphen list to see. For example, like this. It will create a dot git config file in your whole home folder. You can check that. You can remove global to set git username or in the present name directory. for a particular directory. But right now you can use the same commands. No. When you will run git config hyphen hyphen list, you should see the three information that you just set. Those who have sent us can install all the Package is right now only. So everyone set the configuration. Everybody configured the git. How many of you configured the git? Yeah. Four to five. Yeah. Rest can try side by side. Yeah. Now you you have to clone a pack, uh, soft package project. There are many projects available, so you can clone anyone. But right now you should clone either Jun or Magnum, because I will be sharing some bugs, so you can submit your patch. Yeah. Okay. Just clone Jun or Magnum. GitHub.com. You just have to replace this part slash project name with Jun, ZU and Jun. Or Magnum, M A G N U M. Both, one, anyone. Anyone. Z U N Jun or Magnum, M A G N U M. Jun, Z U N Jun. I will tell that. Yeah. So since I told earlier also that every project has some specific services that it provides. So Jun, uh, first I will tell about Magnum. Magnum provides container infra as a service. If you have heard, heard about Kubernetes, Swarm, or MesOS. So for setting up Kubernetes or MesOS, you need some steps. How like install Kubernetes, configure it. So what Magnum does, Magnum takes your request and submit the cluster for you, create a cluster for you. For example, you, you just need to tell how many master nodes you have uh, require and how many slave nodes you require. And Magnum will create it for you. Means you just hit an API request or a client request, Magnum create, Magnum cluster create, and the information like master count, node count, and you will get the cluster ready. So earlier, Jun, was not there, June recently arrived. Magnum also provides container as a service. Like you can create a container using Magnum. Mm -hmm. For example, if you want to create a Kubernetes pod, you, you used to type Magnum create pod and you can get the pod ready on the cluster. Right now, later on, the June was uh, separated from Magnum because Magnum wanted to contribute specifically on the container infra. 
like deploying the clusters for you and upgrading and downgrading the cluster sites. So Zoom provides container as a service. You can contact Zoom to create container on OpenStack environment. So Zoom create container, Zoom create volume, Zoom create image. They will provide you the CLIs and also the APIs you can directly use. So now if you have cloned already the project, you have to, for example, if you already work with Git, you should know what is topic branch. If not, the topic branch is a branch name, local branch that you use to name the branch. For example, if you are some create, uh, applying patches to some bug, the topic branch name should be bug slash bug ID. The bug ID is the launchpad ID. For some bug, for some patches, we do not require the bug. For example, small bugs that are easily understood. So that time, for example, if you're fixing some requirements, you can name the topic branch as fixed requirements. Fix unit tests, something like that. You can create the topic branch. The topic branch is seen here when you We'll open the review.openstack.org. You like see Magnum Fix Swarm is there. So Fix Swarm is the topic branch. For now, you can create any branch because it can be changed later also. So git checkout hyphen v fix something like that. Any branch name you can get. And now every project has some unit test associated with it. So Tox is the utility that is used to run your test in the virtual environment. Means Tox is basically used to manage the virtual environments. So Tox provide you basically we ship a file named as Tox.ini that describes all your environments in that file. So I can show you that file. Every project has its contributors guide. So you will get how which how to run your unit test, how to create a dev tech environment. Every project has almost similar structure. For example, here is a talks.ini file. So this is the env environment list that we test with unit test. Everything is defined here. What is the install command it is used to set up the environment? So right now you don't need that. So this is the list means, for example, you can run these tests currently. Others can also, but that requires additional configuration for the environment. Right now you can run these commands. For example, talks-e. Pi 35, so Python 35 test will be run. Pi 27, Pi 27 test will run, and Pepet, Pepet test will run. So for that you need Tox to be installed. Tox can be installed using the same yum install, or you can also use pip install Tox. For that pip is required. So Python pip you can install in your environment. So right now if you will run Tox hyphen e it will pass because you have not changed any change. So it should pass if not any issue in the upstream. So now I think I should share some bugs. I will share that later. Right now I will walk away. Now if you, uh, for example, you submit some change, change some file and submit your code. These are the steps. For example, git commit, commit is used to give the one line description, what is your change all about. Yeah. Then you git review hyphen s, that is used to connect to the server that it can connect to the git review. Yeah. If it runs successfully, it means you can connect if you have everything right on your system. Then git commit hyphen hyphen amend for your large description, yeah. because the description is required to convince, means to describe what is the change all about. Yeah. Then you will, as soon as you will type git review, you will see the uh, you will see an output. What is the review ID? 
it can give you any link for example it will give you link like this something like this, uh, this link you will get and you have to open it on the browser now what happens when you you submitted your changes so as soon as you submit your changes some ci jobs are run ci jobs are the automated test suites that run to validate the changes so everything is defined on the source code that what has to be done when has to be done how has to be done everything is defined in the source code so these type of things are defined in OpenStack Infra repository. For example, earlier you used OpenStack, uh, OpenStack for source codes, and here you will find the infra things. These are many projects like DevStack, Get, Joule, Project Config. Most of the things we define here, Project Config. Others are also used. Everything has special purposes. But right now we are talking about the CI things. So as soon as you submit change, you will see something like this. The source code is tested against predefined test jobs for a project. Jobs event triggers all the automated tests and are defined in following repository. That is project config. And the status of jobs can be checked at joule.openstack.org. For example, this was the change that I submitted. Then, and right now, if you go to joule.openstack.org and see this ID 488350, you will find it there. See. 8 to 10 tests are running. Yeah. Out of those, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 are already passed and others are still running. So you can get the status there. If you will click on the links, for example, this link, you will get something like this. But since the browser does not uh, know about Telnet, so it will not work, you need to have Telnet client installed. If you want to see what is going on there, so you can use Telnet client. For example, I have Telnet installed. So I can use this and see what's going there. So this is going there. You can see the output here. Also, once these tests are succeeded, the, the logs is collected for the reviewers or for the sub, who submitted the patch to identify what's the error. For example, these are succeeded, so you don't need it right now. But if you want to see what's the output of that, so you can go to logs.openstack.org. Everything I have mentioned in the PPT, logs.openstack.org. For example, the review ID was 488350. So you have to go like this, last at end, last two digits of the review, and then 488350. So you can go get the logs there. These are the patch sets. For example, I have submitted four patch sets. So one, two, three is missing because I did an, another patch at the time of testing. So that logs were not collected. At the four, you can see the check is there. Yes, first of all, when you submit a patch, check jobs are run. There are multiple types of jobs that run in the CI system, like check jobs, gate jobs, release jobs, periodic jobs, many types of jobs, I will tell you that. So here is the list of the logs you can see here. For example, Python 3.5. These two are different runs. Mm -hmm. Means one was before recheck. If you have seen right now, I just typed recheck there. Mm -hmm. Recheck is used to reinitiate the check. So if you can see by the date and time, this is the latest one. So you can get the console output here. If it was failure, you can see the logs and find why it was failed mm -hmm. by debugging. So everything, I right now told everything is defined. So if you see the examples,
if you have the links you can open that links example links for example this is the link first link the first link tells about predefined jobs which jobs has to be run for example have you seen there 10 to 12 jobs were running so everything is defined this link will say see you the how many pipelines are there so there are many pipelines for example check pipeline check pipelines are run when you submit a patch that is also defined for example if you see here what is the event on garrett if an event like patch set is created you have to run the test change is restored for example sometimes you abandon the change if you restore it the test will run so that is also defined comment added if someone edits a comment what comment is added then you have to run the test for example recheck is written here so if you type recheck then the test will run so everything will is defined here and once the test pass jenkins can return minus 1 or plus 1s based on the test pass or fail so that is also defined minus 1 or plus 1 username is jenkins so everything is defined then there are gate jobs gate jobs are run when the core reviewer gives a workflow like code is reviewed and core reviewers agree with the changes so they give the reviews and workflow generates a workflow so everyone will not see that for example this is the change so if i will go to reply so here is the workflow as soon as i will give workflow it will start the gate jobs and if the gate jobs passes the change is merged to the git repository that you just downloaded git clone so you can download and that is synced now we can go to the second link now this was to what are the pipelines the pipeline you can see here also there are many types of pipeline and everything is defined in that page only layout.yml if you go to jewel.openstack.org that is the status page you can see many types of jobs are running like check jobs this is the check pipeline for many projects it's running currently then there, there is a gate pipeline that i just told that is when the workflow is generated there are post pipeline release post check pipeline experimental one is experimental experimental means that that the test will be run only on the requirement basis if you add a comment check experimental then these jobs will run that is also defined in that layout file if you will search for check experimental you can see that when a patch set is created with the comment check experiment so you can see in the layout.yml now if we go to second link second and third are almost similar similar but for different projects now which test to run this is defined in in this link the page is same but lines are different i can open both the links for example this is for openstack nova if you go for openstack nova and see the check so here 8 to 10 tests are defined so whenever a check pipeline is run this 10 test will run and similarly for gate similarly for post experimental if if someone writes check experimental then this 10 to 12 test will run same everything is defined similarly for every project so for if you see for magnum same thing is there check jobs 8 to 10 jobs are there gate jobs periodic jobs experimental jobs so this is here we define which test to run when you submit a patch or when it's merged when it has to be merged and if you see there are many tests running some are voting some are non voting so for example this is the change if you see here at ahead of some return is non voting so if any voting jobs fails 
you cannot proceed further until it is fixed non voting jobs are added for example if you are not sure about that test that it will pass or not pass means for example you have added recently added a new feature that is still developing so you will add the job as non voting by submitting a patch to the review.openstack.org and the project is project config that is also defined in the same project so non voting jobs will not make the change go ahead means you can go ahead with the non voting jobs failures ahead now i already told that jenkin can give minus 1 or plus 1 and peer review is like the the member those who have just joined are not core reviewers can give minus 1 for example if someone has pushed some change and the change is not good so they can post their comment as minus 1 and give their comments like example for example if you think this is the not required change or my someone has done spelling mistake for example instead of check it he is written chk you can sub, that is also comment and plus 1 if you agree with the change so you can give plus 1 and if you have some doubt and just want to query you can also give comments without any minus 1 or plus 1 core reviewers can, can give minus 2 minus 2 is to like this change cannot go until you give the justification and plus 2 means you approve it minus 1 you don't strictly disagree but you still disagree and plus 1 if if something is changed you will approve it otherwise you will wait for other reviewers and workflow if you give minus 1 that change will never go ahead and plus 1 it will go for the gate jobs if gate jobs passes the change is merged sometimes the change will not merge after workflow as well because there is merge conflict at the exact time when it is going to merge so at that time you have to do rebase or something then only it can go merge but then again the core reviewer interaction is not required you can simply go and rebase it workflow is still required because no one else can give so i already told logs can be found at this links now we can see some sample reviews on openstack.org if you go here all open so you can find reviews of every project so there are many types of patches like some dog patches are there some trivial fixes are there so you can see how trivial fixes looks like for example fix the documentation sample for os so this is a patch single line single line patch one line is deleted one line is created only this comma is added so this was a bug like if this is not a valid json so if you hit, add a comma this will be a valid json so this was fixed by this patch if some doc update is there my means for example some command is wrong or some improvement is there in the command different options are available so you can add the doc comments also doc patches and also some some patches are that that are not submitted by users that are automatically created by the bots so if you have seen on the if you have used the irc you must have seen that there are some patches like for example this is the patch yatin proposed this so this is generated by the bot that is also defined in the project config you can see the code and search for this if you want i can show you also if you go in jenkins scripts there must be something like release release tools yes in release tools just update requirement maybe in the function is it there
for example yeah, yeah, this okay. is the yeah. here is the git review patch just i just have you have seen when whenever a stable branch is released the release jobs are run and when release jobs is run you will see a patch like update git review and this is this is the code that runs that creates a patch for you automatic bots create that for example if you have seen upper constraint like this see update upper constraint file for stable pike update dot git review for stable pike these two patches are created by the bot that is defined in the project config and also you will find garret bot what is defined in the garret bot means you see the message in the irc that are also defined here in the project config means i want to say that everything is automated by this if still something not it will be automated any time soon for example in garret bot you may find that for example if you see for magnum see here what are the events when you have to post on irc whenever a patch set is created you have to post on irc whenever a change is merged you have to post on irc that this change particular change is merged and the third one i don't know and these are the project's name and these are the branches for example if now stable pike is there if someone push to stable pike that will not be notified on the irc because that the change is not here but this is for magnum for example magnum client client pike branch is released so if anyone changes to magnum pike branch that change will not on the irc because it is not defined here also the acls are defined here means the like what has what can be done to a project for example open stack you will go and see for the you will see the project list here like nova.config magnum.config and here you will see what is the name of the group for the who is the member core members are there the magnum core so it will create a magnum core group then the ptl can add the core members there that is done by voting and what core reviewers can do minus 2 plus 2 can be done then and minus 1 workflow can be done by the core reviewers and what is required Re require contributor agreement that you just signed so until you do have that doc that agreement you cannot submit a patch so everything is defined in the project config also for example if you want to see some reviews like for the blueprints so they uh, like i told the topic branch name should be given like bugs less something if it is some blueprint you have to give something like bp less blueprint name for example support guru in wsi is some blueprint right now a single patch is there and lines are also less but if you see some good package or oh, some good blueprints you will see lot of lines are there and sometimes lines are less but feature is more important so that's also there so this is was just to show that how much how can you contribute how what type of things you can contribute by submitting patches you can file a doc doc patch also that is small one line or two line you can submit a blueprint also that may require you to work longer means that can also you have to be patient also because some changes may request reverse minus one then you have to do something then again minus one then something so some patches can take one to two months or some patches can take six months also more than that also so you have to be patient but anyways you can connect with irc on irc to the members and you can ask them to review that and uh, the best way to get started to open thing is to reviewing others patch yes yeah that will help you learn a lot yeah and just go through the code and so first we'll start with the commit message and with the jobs they are got run so if any of the jobs got failed you can check why it is failing If you know the like, paper what failed, you can comment on the pass with minus one that 
see, this is the job link and this part of Pepet J got built. Can you please have a look? You can also try to download that path and test locally and fix it and suggest the owner that this was the fix and you can submit that. Yeah. So you can download the path by using the command git review hyphen D. For example. For that you need to install git review first. Yes, for that git review tool is required. So it can be installed using pip also, pip install git hyphen review or yum install or apt install git review, anything git hyphen review. So for example, I have installed it so I, I can write Git review hyphen D and the review ID that you have seen just now. If I type this, it will download that change locally. Then if you want to run load, uh, unit test, you can run tox hyphen E and that will start running the unit test locally. Then you can fix it and then rerun again unit test. This this change number is two different, some different projects so that it doesn't run project. So now, who has already cloned the repositories? How many have you cloned the Magnum? And Jun? Both. Okay. So anyone can take any bug. For example, if you see, there is a command line Nova key pair add. If you have already tried that, this is used to create a key pair. So right now OpenStack client is there that provides. So OpenStack is migrating to use OpenStack clients. These all the all other clients like Nova client, Cinder client, client client will just be used as a libraries. For end users, OpenStack client is used. So if at some project that is using OpenStack clients, you should use OpenStack client only. For example, in Magnum, we are using Nova key add. So there is a substitute available in OpenStack client. So we should use that. So that is a bug. So you can file a patch by saying that use a OpenStack client instead of deprecated Nova client. And you can fix the doc. So you can search for the text like Nova key pair add in your source code in Magnum and see where these changes exist. And you can just change with the relevant OpenStack client command. So this is a bug. You can want to try it right now, you can try it. If, if someone has cloned Zune, so that is a very easy fix. You can try it. So there is a requirement.txt file and a text requirement.txt file. Mm -hmm. There must can be different also, but most of the project you can see these two files are there. Mm -hmm. In requirement.txt file, we define what the project requires to run. Mm -hmm. In test requirement, we define which dependence are required to run the unit test or some other test. Mm -hmm. Many projects you will find that these are not correctly defined. So those are also bugs. If you can find those, you can fix those. Because something is requirement, but that is defined in the test requirement. requirement. But everything is working because in tox.ini, we install both. For example, with tox.ini, if you see, if you see here dependencies, requirement and test requirements, both are defined. So when tests are run, both are installed. So you will not get any error. But if you go correctly, then these two files should be defined correctly because these two files are used by the distributors like uh, who ship the packages like yum or apt you canonical they use these files to identify initially but these are wrong so they don't use those files because they know these are not correctly defined so they use their own logic so for example in june if you see there is a requirement if you can open on the github also or in local also If you see will requirements dot file, you will find a requirement known as green led. So this requirement was added accidentally, but it's never cleaned up. So you can file a patch like clean up the unused requirement, but you have to give some background research when it was added. So you can define that in this page, this was added, but never used. So you can use the git blame part to check when it was added. Yes, git blame, I uh, don't know, but I use git so to check which commit that is, that takes long time. Git blame will take Yeah, it. so if you click on blame, it will. I have to share. 
if you have to uh, i can't can't get it can you share the link you just you can just open the project zone and there you will see the requirement.txt in local also if you have cloned cd zone then you will see vi requirement.txt or that you have to search locally you will find something in the doc folder nova space key pair add you can search that and you will find grab must have all have so used there are two things like one is great command and we commonly used uh, commonly commonly used say command to create something across the system or also there is one website if you that will be very handy coursel.openstack.org yeah. you can type here also nova key pair add it will list which project is using this command uh, yes, it was GitHub too, right? Yes, that, yes. Yes, yeah. GitHub also can be used, but this is website specifically. Indirectly, this also must be using GitHub yeah. search only. Yeah. But that is specifically for OpenStack, so they have created this website. So here, if you search for Magnum, in yeah. this particular file, you have defined Nova Keep Your Ad. Yeah. OpenStack Magnum. So in other projects also, it's there. So you can, if you want, you can submit there also. But that project have must have dependency on OpenStack client. Otherwise, that will not work. Because OpenStack client is not installed, then how can you run the OpenStack CLIs? So this is also a valid bug. And also, if you will use try using the uh, dev stack, you will find some more bugs and you will learn a lot because you are actually using it. And if you find some problems, you can file a bug. If you know the fix, you can uh, see fix the bug. If you still don't fix the bug, you can monitor that bug. If someone how someone else is fixing, so that 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 way you can learn. Recently, yesterday only I see a bug in OpenStack client. Like, if you pass hyphen hyphen user ID, it don't work. So, but I have earlier version OpenStack client installed, so I am not sure. If in recent also it's not working, then it's bug. Now, similarly, for example, if you go to this link, readme.rst of June, you will see like this. Please fill here a long description, which must be at least three lines. So this is not a correct description. So you can fix it. This is also a valid bug. Similarly, in the June client, also you can find this type of bug. So you can start with your first patch and then try using the dev stack. You will, first of all, initially you will not get any bugs, but if you try using and exploring it, you will get some bugs. And if you go step by step, you can file some features also, so implement that feature also. So that is step by step. If you will go directly, like I will fix only the, I will implement a blueprint, then it will take you longer and you may get frustrated and stop at the, in the middle. So you should start step by step only. So those who want to fix these bugs can fix it right now. If they get, or also when they fix, when they submit the patch, go through the steps that I just shared, like go to that joule.openstack or is that the tests are running, which tests are running, where these tests are defined, are they defined correctly, what else can be there. So you can find some bugs like looking like that also. So the target is not looking for bugs, the target is to explore what what is going on and how it's going on and how is if you get to learn that you can also contribute from your own uh, another way around is to write the unit test yes but for the any project it does not require any need abstract setup or anything yes you can directly just clone the project and you can create a virtual environment uh, install the project like install requirement.txt or test requirement.txt run python setup dot develop or install and after that you can try writing the unit test all the unit tests are written around mock for most of the project 99 plus 99 percent of the project uses mock so you can simply check out the mock library and you can write the unit test or you can check the previous unit test written how they have written you can try to rewrite it for other files and take check how it works 
If you write something saying a review upstream, people will correct it if anything fails. So uh, uh, there is a tool like coverage report, which is, which can be used to generate the coverage. So you can check out the code and run the coverage command. It will generate a HTML report. You can see where the unit tests are lacking. So you can fix, you can submit patch against that unit test. Because every project wants that unit test coverage should be 100%. And I don't think every any project will have 100% right now. So uh, at that you can contribute. Also you should have the knowledge of Python not initially, but gradually you have to learn Python because OpenStack projects are mostly written in Python only or shell script. So you should learn both of these. But initially, if you would think I will learn first and then I will start. So that would be too long. You can start contributing, start learning in the side by side. For example, you can give few hours to the learning, few hours to the contribution because you must have some other work also. So you cannot give 100% there. So you can give one to two hours and that will really help. There are other bugs also that are going on in the community. For example, there is a known as governance project that defines how all the projects should be sync. What is the common goal? So for example, right now, uh, goal is going on doc migration. If you will see in doc migration topic, you will see a lot of patches are there. Maybe hundreds or thousands of patches you will find here. So these are contributed by the project people or anyone can other people that, for example, he can contribute to 12 projects and 20 projects because he know the fix because that's the easy fix because everything is defined in the etherpad. This is the doc uh, etherpad page there. They have defined how to do it, which project to do it, which project has done completely, which is in progress. Everything is defined in this etherpad. And due to this doc migration stuff, uh, most of the documentations have some links. Yes. And we got outdated. You can check that, check out that links, and you can replace that link with the working link. So that would be also a easy fix contributions. Yes. So governance defines many things. For example, in next for Q and series, they have already decided what to do. So you can go to governance space and the IRC of that and see what you can contribute there also. But I will suggest that you can start with one to two pages like this, then select a project which interests you and start contributing in that only because that will help you in learn and contribute to because just submitting patches will not help. Yeah. Submitting patches initially is okay because you will learn the workflow, how this all happens. But later on, you should stick to some project. For example, if someone has background in Virtualization, they can go with Nova. Someone has background in networking, they can go with Neutron. If no background is there, they can decide based on their interest. Yeah, so if you do not know programming, so then one way is to try out the documentation. So like docs.openstack.org has lots of docs. Because and I think one internship program is also running, no? Yeah, yeah. One internship program also runs OpenStack also runs an internship program. So you can submit your means biography. For that you need to be a college student. Yes, That's college student. Mandatory. That is mandatory. You if you are a college student, you can try out you that internship. To some of the universities and then you can apply. Um, but you can you should search for it if yeah. you yeah. So currently if you do not know Python, there is the IRC channel in on Freenode, BZP LUZ. Their Python classes are just started. Two days back, you can join there and you can learn the Python. Yeah, easy easy easy. if you want to learn Python, you should go there. Yeah, initially it will help you to start. Yeah, otherwise, Google and online docs are very, very enough for easy, contributing easy, or learning easy, the Python. Easy. So, anyone is submitting patch or getting some issues? Any questions till now? Even if you correct the spelling mistakes, that is also considered a patch. Yes, main target is you You should start uh, uh, learn the workflow. And initially, initially you learn the workflow, then you should start with the project. You you should try the dev stack also and use try using it. For example, there is a guide. Uh, every project has a guide. For example, Nova has a guide how to do the stuff. You will follow guide. You will run the command that defined there. 
but if you get an error there that might be a bug so you can file that bug and fix that and also you can see that maybe it's it's going on the review maybe patch is already there but bug is not there some chances are that also so you can search for the review.openstack.org if some past something like that is still there or not for example one more thing for example you submit a patch but the tests are failing that doesn't mean that that are because of your patch sometimes sometimes tests fail because of the upstream issues also for example there is issue in unit test framework only there particular version there may be something or for example the the ci node where the tests are running that failed so this doesn't mean every time it's your reason so if your unit test pass locally but not passing upstream so that means the there is some issue in the upstream and you can ask about the same on the irc channel, IRC channel for the project specific yeah. sometime you will get some time zone issues because for example if some projects for example some projects contributors are in the, some other region and you are the only one from this region so you may not get the answer in that time zone but for almost the big projects you will find at any time zones because they have contributors in every regions and the best way to um, get to know too much about any project is to attend their weekly meetings. meetings yes if you are not able to find any task for yourself weekly meetings have lots of agenda agenda and they always look for volunteers for the task and from there you can start weekly meetings are online or yeah. irc on irc on irc, on IRC. everything happens on irc okay and we will just stand for 60 minutes yeah so there is a open discussion for i mean last 2 to 5 to 10 minutes you can ask your queries there yeah you can introduce yourself yes anything that i want to start but i am not getting any bugs where to start so they will provide you some docs where to learn so you can start parallelly start looking the code at the same time and start working on the dev stack for example to use that use the project and look the code at the same time yeah. and in one around one month you can easily start yeah any questions if not we can stop the recording so the entire code is Mostly in Python. Mostly okay. Python. Mostly. Something in Shell and some projects. I think Swift is migrated to Go also. Yeah, some projects use the combination of both, like yes. Octavio. So Swift is migrated mostly in Go also. And because its main main work was to the system things, so they migrate to Go because of the performance. But other projects are not currently migrated because they are providing majorly like, uh, APIs. So in Python, they you are using frameworks. there are different frameworks they are using so they provide apis so that is working for them so python is used in most of them and you can also try like there are two types of projects like one is core projects that provide service and other is client the client fixes are easier than the server fixes so you can start with the clients because that are much easier to learn also because the code size is small so you can learn that easily and almost every project has same structure same base things are same for example every project is using arc parse arc parse is a module to provide you the cli is for on the command lines so you can start with the clients as well and for like config generation across the board we use oslo.config and you can find the same file structures for all the projects yes meetings are this is the list of irc channels so these are the meeting links openstack meeting alt openstack meeting cp openstack meeting 3 4 some projects go on openstack meeting alt some on openstack meeting cpi so you can find that in the projects wiki page at which for example if you want to see nova nova irc meetings on google you will find that so what are their where their meetings happens नहीं, 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 नहीं,
हैस हुआ मुंह निकाल ही दो सिर्फ मीटिंग तक रखो अच्छा या ना Here it is written. Has open stack meeting. Time is also written. 14 UTC. So you can convert in plus 5:30. So you can get the time. So they meet two twice. Thursday alternating. So they want to cover different geographies. That's why they are handling two meetings. Any questions? If no, then we can stop the recording. Yeah. Thank you, Atin. Thank you.